Everybody has their place in this magical world. Imagine that you are a miner. You are gathering ore in the mountains to supply your guild with precious resources. The blacksmith of your guild crafts the best weapons north of Daunton Sea, using the ore you bring him. Your guild, the Eternals, control the mountain area of the Western Outlands. Thus, they can control the market for weapons and ore. 
all thanks to your gathering of that precious resource. Your guild's merchants travel south to bring swords and unrefined ore to the city. Daunton Sea lies in the swamps, an area where no ore is to be found. So good quality weapons are scarce and sell well. This guild, the Ivory Raiders, is hunting animals for hide, which can be found plentiful in the steppe. This is also home to ancient animals, rarely to find in Albion. The guild then sells their precious loot in the city. Your merchants are buying valuable hide from the hunters, which they will need for armor, bags, and saddles. They then load their oxen and set out to return to their home in the mountains. The way back home is long and dangerous for your merchants when they ride through the... melee bruiser who dives into battles and decimates his enemies. His powers are fueled by rage, which he builds up using left click smash attacks. Leap, activated with the one key, will launch the champion forward and grant him a big rage boost. It can be cast a second time in quick succession for free before the cooldown. This is also a great way to catch fleeing targets or dive right into a fight. The champion isn't afraid to fight dirty. His kick sand combo, mapped to the two key, will deal heavy damage and blind enemies you're facing. The life tray generates essence. Essence is required to use abilities from the death tray. Build up essence with healing spells and expend it with nuking spells. Be careful, if the druid's essence meter fills up beyond 80%, she will start taking serious damage from an effect called essence burn. The only way to shed essence burn is to dump some essence by switching to the death tray and casting damage spells. In the life tray, the majority of your heals come from Coalesce Life, which is cast with left click. For example, Pepper Box Shot, mapped to the two key, will stun a target if it has four or more pips. Impale, mapped to the three key, is a nasty bleed attack that drains a target's hit points until they hit a set percentage value or are healed to full health. The damage scales based on the number of pips spent. The duelist can also toss random buffs on himself by using Inconceivable, mapped to the four key, or protect himself with a barrier by using redirect pain on the five key. The duelist's defining ability is his burrow. PVE adventures are abound in Revelation Online. The world is full of mysteries, monsters, and rewards. Each dungeon is different. There are traps to avoid, challenges to complete, and there's always good old carnage. Those who wish to test themselves may venture into solo dungeons with no party members to rely on. Five player dungeons put your teamwork skills to the test. They have up to five levels of difficulty, with each level changing the rewards. A lot. Six mighty.
mighty bosses roam the open world. Entire guilds battle each other just for the right to engage one of these bosses. Raids will test your guild's resilience. If you manage to complete a 10-player run, you can try it again on hardcore difficulty, or try the ultimate 20-player version and get epic rewards. The world of Revelation Online has much to offer to every kind of hero, whether they seek adventure, challenge, fame, or reward.
That's about all you'll see. <laughs> it's really handy when you're a healer and you're sort of lost. Mm -hmm. Orient yourself on the person real quick. Oh, we're climbing up here. I'm getting mesmerized by the view. Are those two uh, on the platform above going to attack when we walk by? 